All right. Welcome. Welcome to day three of our three day retreat. I am super excited that you are here to stand in your power. We are um, going to be taking some action today. We are going to be making um, some ripple effects happen around us. Okay. And so I'm going to be talking about ways to do that. We are going to be doing great breakout rooms again, where we can support each other in community and give each other ideas and just let us know that, you know, we're not the only one that, that feels that fear. Okay. So if you could kindly just um, mute yourself um, and then again, just show up fully today. I mean, you guys have been doing great as far as um, doing the artwork, supporting each other. I'm really proud of all of you. And um, I'm kind of curious, I'm just going to ask the question is, you know, did you have any ahas yesterday after you're looking at uh, the other community members artwork? Anything come up for you? Did you see any commonality, any theme that was coming up? And you can put that in the chat as we're admitting people in here. Uh, Jen Faye says, yes, it's nice to know that I'm not alone in my fears. Yes, and lots of common fears. Most definitely. There was a lot of common fears. And it's interesting that like, it's not like it just goes away. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's going to come back up. But we always have that opportunity to either deal with it differently, right? Um, Andrea says, I've wanted the same things for the last few years, looking at what's stopping me. Okay, yeah, so we have to make a change and we have to do action. Um, those are the two things that make that shift, right? Okay, so um, as part of that, I wanted to talk a little bit about who won very exciting stuff, the Art of Healing and Manifesting deck. The winner is Margarita Spear. So congratulations. I'm gonna ask you to um, be patient with me because this is on the second run, the second print run. And so they are coming from overseas and it's taking a little time to get here. So probably end of August, I'll have um, the shipment and then I can send you one. So I wanna say congratulations, Margarita. Um, I read your post and you were supporting other people and it was, you know, it's really thinking about, you know, when we have, like disappointments that come up that we don't get stuck in them. Okay, so this is like when I do that high intensity workout in the morning and they's like, when you get down, you gotta get yourself back up. You gotta bring your own energy. They talk about this and it lifts me up. I was like, you know what? I have to shift my energy, right? So I'm hoping that um, the Art of Healing, the deck, that you can use it as a tool to, um, just as guidance, as a guidance system to either the healing part, which is, um, you know, really about just loving parts of ourselves that are feel sticky or that we don't like, um, or the manifesting part of just like finding other ways to do things, like having a different perspective, okay? Because um, sometimes the universe is, I mean, I think the universe is always protecting us. So if something's not working out exactly how I want it to be or think that it should, I have to say, well, how can I? What's another way, okay? And I will just, for funsies, I will pick another card for us. Oh, we just all fell out. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing good today. I am uh, just reading the comments. As Lisa says, I like this exercise because I first thought my fear was this one isolated issue, but I focused and dug deeper to even deeper fears. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and Pick a card. This is a collective card. Oh, root chakra. This is about money. Ooh, interesting. This is fun because a lot of time money brings fear, right? I had brought this up yesterday that um, a lot of healing around money. And I told you, even my first coach that I hired, I was freaked out by hiring her because I was like, I'm supposed to be making money and why am I spending money? And I'm going through that loop of, you know, of just investing in myself, right? And how that freaked me out. But that was part of me stretching, 
And I'm so hired that I did that. I'm so hired. I hired all the other coaches that I hired because each one had something to teach me. Uh, one was about money. One was about community. One was about um, business and like setting up structure in my business and, you know, and relationships and things like that. So everyone, every person that comes into our life, like the teachers are there for a reason, right? So the money card, the root chakra card, so grounding down, being that structure, it says, embrace and appreciate your relationship with money. Mm, you have to appreciate money. Money loves a lot of attention. Um, so schedule a money date to review your financial flow. Uh, this says affirm, money flows to me when I need it. Money supports my desires. Money comes for me from many different sources. And money is a powerful tool that helps me and others. Mm. And I have to say, my money game was not always that way. I used to have a lot of fear and anxiety. And then I had to dive deeper and say, where is this coming from? And I started making those connections um, in my own life, that the like, experiences when I was little and what was told to me. And when I was able to make those connections, a lot of healing comes up. And I talk about this in my, in my book about the money monster, <laughs> how to understand your money monster, and then your money honey, how to have a really like, healthy relationship with money um, so that it brings you abundance. And so that, you know, as you're standing in your power, as you're showing up your authentic self, um, that you are supported along the way. And then the universe is going to continue providing for you because there's so much abundance out there. And that's truly my belief um, in that. So awesome. So we got the money card. I will post that so you guys can um, see it. All right. Ah, so taking action today, stretching yourself, uh, getting uncomfortable. <laughs> it's okay to feel uncomfortable. Okay. And, and that's where I think people like they move the other direction, like, why am I doing this? This makes me feel uncomfortable. It's because that's how you grow. That's how you shed your skin. That's how you create the movement so that the next time, the next time, the next, it won't be uncomfortable. It's just that you are, you're growing, you're expanding, right? So we're going to be thinking about different ways that um, we are, you know, looking at our patterns of behavior and then really looking at how we're stretching ourselves. So one thing I want to talk about is something interesting happened to me yesterday, and I'm just going to share this story because if we're being vulnerable here, right? Uh, we had a lot of vulnerable pictures. And I understand it's like feeling naked. I remember Marriott's picture; she had a naked image. I understand it feels like you are just exposing yourself, right? So even like putting my, like letting people know, hey, I'm doing this, and join me in this um, experience, stand in your power. And I was posting all about it. I have this, uh, and you know, as I said, I'm just going to let you know, as I stand in my power, I've had a lot of amazing experiences come from that, working with clients, um, you know, being invited to be a guest speaker, uh, things like that. You know, as I said, sometimes, I have a lot of but sometimes you're going to get people who, like I said, don't like what you're doing. So yesterday I got this crazy message. Someone dropped in my DM and wrote something really rude to me about, and it was a guy and I'm like, I'm not even speaking to you. You're not even like my person, but he wrote to me and, and just said some like really rude comment about like how this is just like rubbish and um, you know, this self-love standing in your power, blah, 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 blah. And it was rude. It was really rude. So I, you know, I just blocked them. I was like, okay, I'm going to block them. Um, and I felt really uncomfortable. I was like, okay. And this is the sign where if you feel uncomfortable, that's a sign you check in with yourself. Right. And I was like, well, what part of me is being uncomfortable? I really don't care what he says because I really don't. But the part is that the part that I wasn't being com like feeling comfortable was like, am I really standing in my power? And I kept going back and I'm like, should I say something to him? Because part of, I've told you about this before, about like my people pleaser, like people pleasers, that's a trauma response. It's really from, um, you know, always wanted to have peace with people. So you do anything you can do so that you're just always peaceful, right? And it was so funny because I love how the universe works. It's always giving you messages if you're open to receive the messages. The universe, I was still scrolling because I was on Instagram, I was just checking things out. And I'm on my art therapy page, I have um, a lot of therapists that I follow. And so within that minute two that I was looking, two therapists said the exact same thing in different ways that said, if someone is rude to you or, or speaks to you in a way that, um, you know, is, you know, put you down or whatever, you need to say something. Because for one, if you don't say something, they're going to continue to do it. And two, they could do that to someone else. And you need to, um, you know, stand in your spirit, speak your, speak your truth. 
And it was interesting because I had that uncomfortableness in me and I was like, oh, well, maybe this is what I need to do with this uncomfortable situation because I feel it, I felt it in my body. So I went back to that person and just let them know that I didn't appreciate what they had to say. And I gave them, they, they, gave, they had a lot of colorful words in their, in their message. I gave them their colorful words back. And I was like, you know what? See you later. And then I put block. And I was like, whew. I was like, wow, I released it. Like I didn't feel it anymore in my body. And I was like, That's it. this is how you stand in your power because that I was being assertive. I was letting them know I didn't appreciate what they had to say and they don't need to say it to me ever again. So that felt good for me, right? So I'm just telling you the story because <laughs> we have opportunities every single day to stand in our power. And you're gonna have the opportunity today. Um, today, we are gonna consciously create that opportunity for ourselves. We're choosing to do something. But sometimes you might not have that choice. It just comes to you and you're like, okay, well, how do I deal with this? How can I, how do I deal with this? And, the, and like I said, open yourself to receive. I just, I got two messages, like just from scrolling from other people that told me, let them know, right? So then I was able to release it and I feel good about it. I feel, I, I'm, I, I don't have anything, like I'm not holding any resentments, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you because that's how it works. You're always going to have opportunities to stand in your power. Um, let's see here. I'm just reading what Margarita had, had mentioned. The people pleasing is amplified when posting publicly on social media. It is difficult to overcome that. It's hard to separate the vast number of people online from those that matter most. Well, the thing is, the people who matter most are going to stick with you and support you. And the people that don't, let them unfollow you. Let them have a, a hard time that you're showing up and, and, and doing your thing. It doesn't matter. They don't matter. That's what I'm saying. Like my first response is like, this person doesn't matter. But then again, I felt like that need to say something because um, that's being more assertive versus going through my fear of being really passive. I'm saying, how can I be more assertive? Um, Lisa says, yes, I've had a similar experience, left a negative review when our Chiro was so rude to us. I think it's our chiro, um, chiropractor. I think it's closure for us. Otherwise, if you didn't, it would have kept bothering you. Yes, exactly. That's actually what one of the therapists said. And when I was scrolling, it was like, if you don't resolve it, you're going to be holding that energy somewhere. And then it's going to come out in another situation. That's probably not going to be helpful, right? So let it go. Let it go. Okay. So I'm just sharing that. There's going to be times for you to stand your power. And you think about, like when I said, if you got two hands, you're going to go with the fear, right? Are you going to go with, um, you know, the, the faith of feeling supported, right? So you always have those, those two directions to go in. All right. So I am going to, um, let me just share my screen with you. Because I wanted to talk a little bit about um, just to let you know more about what I do um, as an art therapist, as like a coach, as helping people stand in their power. Um, I, I have a program called the Art of Healing and Manifesting Program. And I wanted to, let me just go ahead and open this up. Give me one second. Okay, cool. So taking action. Um, Part of taking action, what we're looking at today, is other people that I've worked with who have stood in their power, right? And so sometimes it's not a baby, it is a baby step that we take, but then the, it, it has that ripple effect because each baby step is going to lead to something else, right? So um, here is some samples of clients that I have worked with who started stepping in their power, okay? So the Rebel Soul Collective, um, this is Laura. Hassel, and she is a clinical art therapist, but she wanted to step into her power by having her own private practice where she is more spiritual and holistic and, you know, offers services about healing the mother wound or um, more, just more on her style, right? And so I was able to support her um, in this process of moving into being in her spiritual practice as well, more of a non-clinical approach to her art therapy. And so she's actually going to be pre- presenting, um, actually doing a workshop in the Creative Soul Society membership, which is one of our prizes today. She's going to be presenting in August about healing the mother wound, which is really, really important, or the father wound. It's like healing those wounds um, um, within us. So 
I'm really excited. She's going to be presenting. Um, we have Ask Natty Love here. She wanted to create a podcast. And so I was able to support her um, and just, you know, having faith in herself and just being able to share her light. It's a personal growth podcast. So just starting that process and, and putting it out there. I have another client of standing in her power was, is Alexis. She's been a presenter in um, the Creative Soul Society as well. And she really just wanted to leave her day job. And she was freaked out about, you know, moving into her coaching business uh, full time. And so I was able to support her and letting her just feel safe and secure and trusting. Um, that's okay. So she is doing that full time now. Um, she's amazing, uh, amazing person. And um, she's a writing and life coach. Other creatives um, that I've been working with is here on the right, we have The Art of Self-Care by Liz Portuondo, who's an art therapist who's just wanting to, she wanted to do groups. She wanted to make money and, um, you know, share her, you know, her services online. So I was been able to support her for her to step out, spread her wings um, and start making money doing those groups. On the bottom here is this Radiant Collective. And um, that's another one of uh, uh our members that are going to be presenting about creative courage and this is called this is heather's group and uh, really excited about her coming out sharing her gifts in, in a broader way and the last one on the top is kristen and kristen is my my wing woman today i'm very excited so she's in my program as well and um she has a program about being in recovery being sober and then offering art classes, art workshops about um, just how to be in recovery and how to um, deal with, you know, issues that come up, but also in a way that's like fun and supportive in community and making art. So I wanted to bring Kristen up because I know that she was kind of freaked out. I guess she had, um, talk about money, like your fear of money, like investing in yourself. Um, and now she's making money with her groups, which is incredibly exciting. I'm going to add a spotlight for you. Um, okay. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Yes. Hey. Yes. Good morning. So welcome. I'm so happy that you're helping me out today. And I uh, wanted to talk to you because you know about the fear, you know, about right coming out with your story for one about being in recovering, being recovering, um, you know, alcoholic and, and being able to share that with people, share the story for one, and then investing in yourself, spending money on a program that you're like, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but how do I do this? Right. So can we talk a little bit about that and what that fear felt like? And then about moving forward? Sure. And then, you know, it started with the knowing, which is really funny. I mean, you had an ad either on Facebook or Instagram right before last Thanksgiving when you did a three day experience. And I knew like it was just lightning from the sky. Mm -hmm. I knew I needed to sign up. I knew I needed to attend live. I did. Uh, the money monster was so mind blowingly um, incredibly uh, eye opening for me, to say the least. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and, you know, and then and then I then I felt the call to work with you directly and invest in that. And that is something that six months ago, a year ago, I would have said, No, I can't, I can't, I can't. And then I just trusted that since that that intuition was so strong, um, I would and things, you know, started to shift like immediately when I um, was addressing the fears when I, you know, outside of this had been doing some trauma work and gotten to that place of I feel I am enough as I am and I can do this. And then you and I started brainstorming and you started helping me, you know, with with things, action steps. And I was taking action steps, except in an email. I still have not taken that one. <laughs> um, you know, and then um I, I don't know. I just, uh, it's, it's a willingness to follow, right? In recovery, we talk about the willingness to do the work. And mm -hmm. I know that that willingness, will, that action, those action steps will, will escalate and take me further. And even though the growth is uncomfortable and so, and sometimes wildly uncomfortable. Um, and, and so, yeah, I finally got to a place um, I, I'm baby stepping in my, in my art community about opening up about my recovery and what I'm offering. Um, mm -hmm. And I have been teaching classes in person here in Denver. And so now I'm reaching that point of going all out and saying, hi, general public, I'm in recovery and this is what I'm offering. I wanna create a safe community where we play with art. And we we know we have that common 
common thing of being sober. So I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but that's what I said. <laughs> that's amazing. It's so cool because yesterday Kristen was here um, in the group and I had asked her afterwards, I was like, well, hey, you know, tomorrow we're taking action steps, but I want to know from you, what action step are you going to take? And she got an A plus on this because <laughs> we created a one minute video and posted it on Instagram. And so I please share that in the group today uh, about your okay. action step, because it is bold to share, you know, sh show your face, uh, let people know what you're doing. Um, it's a huge step and I'm really proud of you. So thank you. Congratulations. You. So, and, and we're Thank not done, like, working together. Like part no. of the process is like, you want to create a program and you want to create, you know, ways other like different, you know, money streams. Um, and you have two shows coming up and, you know, you have that momentum building, yeah. which is feeding your soul. I can tell you're like, it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like I have two art shows. I'm 47. I left art when I was 18. Like I started drinking and art went away. So, um, yeah. It's big. Yes. It's awesome. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you for showing up and, and sharing the love and, and, and you're going to create such a ripple effect for your community. Like I, like they're going to be able to show up and, and heal and have fun. So it's awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to come here on the chat because they wanted to know how can, um, how can they support the people that I just uh, recommended? Well, I, I do have an email going on. I think it might be like next Monday, but I have links to everyone's <clears throat> pages and their, um, what is it, their accounts. But please um, share, you're welcome. I'll put a post on there of to share your information and I'll put their information as well too. So if you want to support them, um, be a part of their groups or be a part of, you know, the direction so you can see them grow. It's part of that growth process. Um, I think it would be really wonderful so that we can stay in community, right, and support each other. And also, like I said, um, there's at least uh, three people that are going to be <clears throat> actually presenting in the Creative Soul Society. So you actually get to experience their magic, right? So part of what I do in, in supporting people is like, I want you to be you. I want you to be unique. I want you to create your own um, programs, your own memberships, your own, but doing it from your authentic voice, right? I'm not asking you to copycat me or anything along those lines. So um, that's part of my stepping out of, of supporting people to, to understand what, what I'm doing here. Um, okay, cool. So let me just tell you the next step. I'm gonna share my screen again. Okay, so we are gonna be making art about your next step. So before we get there, I just want to kind of get your juices flowing. It's like, what is my next step, right? So a lot of my process of knowing what my next best step is, I, I have a conversation with the universe every day. I, I, I meditate, I ask questions, uh, I open to receive answers, I journal. A lot of answers come through my journaling, I make art. So there's ways to have that communication with source. And um, for today, I want you to, you know, start this process of making some art <clears throat> right now. We're, we're going to just do a kind of like a quick sketch, but starting that process of, well, what is my next best step? Like what's going to push me? What's going to stretch me? It feels a little uncomfortable or a lot uncomfortable. Probably might feel a lot uncomfortable, but what's going to make me um, kind of Go over, go over that edge. Because a lot of times we have this line that we draw on the sand. Go over it, right? Allow yourself to go over it. You are supported. I believe in you. So, so ways that you can do this is you can make a video, just like Kristen. Holy crap. She's just, she made a video. She did it a few times. I understand you got to practice it, but you, you did it. Um, tell someone about your idea. Sometimes that's just the scariest thing. They're just letting someone know what your idea is, you know, that you wanted to write a book or that you have a special project that you've been wanting to work on. Um, you, I want you to take the step even when you're not ready, right? Because you're never going to be ready. And this is part of the process. You just put it out there and then you build it as you go. And I want you to be open to getting support where you need it. And this is part of the universe is talking to you all the time. I said, stretch yourself. Um, so what are some things just kind of getting those ideas going before I let you go on your own, before we do the breakout room, what are some ideas of what do you think you'll be stretching yourself? Because that idea could help someone else have an idea as well. So if you want to put in the chat, 
what would be an idea, because we're going to be drawing about this. Go ahead and put this down. What would it be? What do you think you stretching yourself would be? Congratulations, Patricia. She said she had two art shows in a farmer's market two months ago. Fabulous. Very fun. And Kristen posted her ways to connect with her. So I know you guys have some idea, you know, what am I going to commit to today? Because I mean, you can win the Creative Social Society membership, right? For a full year, which is amazing. So, um, you know, for those who participate and show it in the group, you have the opportunity to win that. So you get to be a part of our monthly meetups. We meet like two or three times a month. You get to make art together. So Jen Faye says, writing up my new offer and sharing it. All right, look at that. Asha says, a stretch would be working on my, a few months ago about a, what is this? About a, a need I saw in the art resources for the state, but I got help, hung up on taking the first step and getting the support I would need to make it happen. A lot of imposters didn't hold me back because I don't feel qualified. Okay. So art resources. Kristen says, growth, releasing my invite to recovery group to my entire Facebook friends group. Yeah, like on their personal page, being vulnerable and sharing that. I'm a recovering alcoholic with the general public. Yes, because that's how you're gonna find your people because people have friends who need support, right? And they just say, hey, I, I know someone that I like and trust already. Let me let me let them know about you so that they you guys can connect. If they don't know that about you, then they're not gonna know to connect you with them. Um, Lauren Keene says, I need to make videos. I have really put that off. All right, so make a video today. It could be a one minute video, right? Scheduling a group opportunity. Okay. Okay, Victoria says, I'm stuck on my next step. I need more time to work on the how. Um, that, well, see, that's how it works, Victoria. Just, it's knowing what the desire is so Ellen says, I want a group opportunity, right? That's the desire. And then listening to the universe of the how. You don't have to get stuck up on the how because this is how you, you're being opened for the guidance, right? If you're stuck on the how, you're gonna be stuck forever. So go to the desire, be open for the how and just say, what is the desire? Start there. So let us know what the desire is and then one step towards that. Okay, going live on Instagram, showing up regularly. Okay, so go live today, right? And let us know about it. <laughs> Margarita says, my next step would be soliciting a grant funding and partner to tackle the big idea. All right, that sounds fabulous. Okay, so you don't know what the next step is. So going back to the desire, okay? So whatever your desire is and what could you do to give attention to it? Lisa says, that one for me, maybe two, but it's scary. I said to go to do my first art market in September. Okay, great. Patricia says, be consistent on live streams or videos, launch my website, even if it's not 100% done. Okay, so what are you gonna do today? Do a live stream? Do it. Um, Andrea says, desire to get back to being my normal motivated self. Okay, so stretch yourself and do something that's motivating today. Whatever that is would be a stretch for you. Because you have to put the energy in to get the energy back. I don't always want to work out, but I know that I need that energy. So I, I put the energy in. Okay? Yeah. So it's kind of just changing the perspective a little bit. Um, Asha says, being seen in the work that I do. Beautiful. So how will you be showing up more? It's a bigger way that you could show up. Showing up for myself, porting myself home, and sharing it in community. Um, finalize the logo, put the time in the website so I can guide people to it. Okay. All right. 
sorry, I'm just keep reading because you guys keep going. So it says, <laughs> and Chris says, that's absolutely my truth. I've been sabotaged myself by focusing on the how. When I gave myself permission and had the willingness, boom, the how keeps showing up. Yes. So it's giving your permission to fall. It's giving your permission yourself to try. It's giving yourself permission to actually succeed because you can't succeed if you don't ever start. So we're starting today. You're taking an action step. All right, ask quotes today to get my therapy kits printed. Okay, it's a good step. I don't know what my next step is. I think I may be sharing more of the real me on social. Okay, that might be it. If that's what you're like thinking that it is, do it, do it today. Okay, I hope you guys go ahead and get started even though I'm reading this because there's like five more messages that I see here. Go ahead and get started. Start drawing it out. I'm gonna give you some some time to draw that out. And then I'm gonna put you in breakout rooms, okay? And that's an opportunity. You're gonna have someone new in there they probably haven't met with yet. And you're gonna be able to share your first day, your second day, your third day, and they're gonna support you, okay? We're gonna hold each other in community. Um, Jen said, thinking Kristen says that she gets tripped up on the how, yeah. Um, Victoria says, I desire to work with others, helping them how to overcome emotional, mental challenges. The how has become my block. I realized through yesterday's sketch, I'm really struggling with it and no idea how to push through. More work required. Um, well, it sounds like if you think it's more work, it's going to be more work. Okay. So how about today you could do something along the lines of <clears throat> just starting it like Maybe you have a friend, or maybe you can offer a free session for someone um, to help them, right? So that you can start the momentum. Because when you keep thinking that you have more work, you're gonna have more work. But if you could just start it, if you wanna help other people, start helping other people. Let them know that you're there to help other people, right? You gotta show up and let people know. I'm going to tell people, and it's not just one time. That's a lot of times people think that, oh, I want to start this new program. I'm going to start my new online course. I'm going to just do this. And they just show up one time and tell people this one email or this one post on Instagram. And it doesn't work that way. It's a consistent action. And it's actually creating structure in your life so that you can show up consistently. And getting really clear with your why. And getting clear with who you want to call in. And then showing up. And doing the work, right? That's how it creates that momentum. Oh, you're welcome, Victoria. Um, thanks to the sessions, I thought I was stuck on the why. Turns out it was the how. That's progress. Yeah, definitely. So it's just, I mean, that's my inspiration or intention for today is, or this whole thing is just to help shine your light, right? So sometimes we have to shine the light in different areas of our life to see, you know, what needs more love, right? What needs to, um, for us to have a glow up together, we got to bring out that darkness. We got to do healing uh, around that so we can light up the world, right? So we're gonna have a glow up, glow up together. Yeah, Kristen, you want to jump on and say something? You're welcome. Let me add a spotlight. Go ahead. 
Yeah, one of the things I wanted to add was all this talk about um, taking action and following the lead. Um, for me, I had to start trusting the intuitive thought and, and recognizing that this was an intuitive thought and it's not a crazy thought. It's actually an invitation to to do something and that's, should I really reach out to those people and ask if they need teachers? Is, really? And then yes, actually that led stuff. So for me, it's stretching myself is, um, is trusting that little and that that is an intuitive ping and that's something to follow. Because when I don't, that's kind of a version of self-sabotage for me. Beautiful, Kristen, thank you. Very well said. We had a question also from Lisa, she said, are we supposed to be drawing out our next action step? You're going to be drawing out your next action step that you're doing today. I'm asking you to step up today because every day we have an opportunity to step up and make whatever our desire, our priority, right? The only way to have a ripple effect is to put it front on the front burner. Okay. And so every day I even do that for myself every day. I, I say, okay, What's a, what's a baby step, but it's a step and it's moving me forward to my desires, right? It's moving me forward to, to where I want to go. But you got to take action steps every day. That's how you build the momentum, right? So what are you going to do today? Okay, we're going to draw for like another minute or two. You can draw when you're in the group too, when you're talking, it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to give you a couple more minutes and then I'm going to put you in a breakout room. And a part of the breakout room is like, again, sharing your intention, your block, and then what step you're going to do today. And you have the members there to support you in that. And everyone should have at least, I guess, three minutes to speak. Some groups are going to have two, some will have three but I'm gonna go ahead and start the breakout rooms. <laughs> You're welcome, Jane. So Lisa, since you are here um, and Janie's gonna be working on hers, uh, since everyone started, I don't wanna like just put you in there because then it might be a little awkward. So would you be open to sharing with me? Because this is part of uh, integrating the lesson, right? You're talking about, there's two Lisas, right, in the group? <laughs> yeah, there's another Lisa here, yeah. Me? Are you talking to me, Lisa O? Or the I'm talking to Lisa, you, Lisa O, but there is another Lisa here, but she's in a breakout room. Oh, oh, okay. I, I didn't actually get to draw, like, what I was supposed to do. I was just, I was drawing, I was writing out, like, kind of, you were saying, like, what the next step was. I didn't get a chance to act. I was listening to the live, but I didn't actually get a chance to. Um. Oh, then go ahead. Oh, shoot. I lost you, Lisa. Hey, I lost you. I don't know what happened. I went to the breakout room, so I pressed OK. <laughs> That's so weird. I didn't, I swear, I didn't touch anything. That's so funny. Oh, hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just do the art because I know you, you haven't had a time to, to do it, but yeah. what, tell me what it is and you can work on the art because I'm going to end the breakout rooms in just a couple minutes. Well, I've been thinking about buying your book, so I'm just going to, I'm going to buy your book. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. And we joined Creative Soul Society because, um, you know, I was in it before I had the baby. And then I was just kind of, the last time I went to your um, class was a la carte. Cause I was yeah. like, do I end with for this to do this on a consistent basis? You know, I was kind of doing that. And then, cause I still have the baby obviously. And, you know, she's still like a 15 month toddler. And I'm like, you know, just even getting here today is, you know, I'm like, can I do this? You know? And so I think I'm just going to like make it a thing where I can look forward to it consistently. Even if I can't make it, I can always like, you know, do the replay or you know just like like you said like sometimes you put the energy there and you like make time for it even though I can make excuses and be like oh well I have a baby you know I don't have time or I don't know it depends on the day 
Yes, it's prioritizing and saying, I want to put this first because I want to get back into my creativity and show up for myself. So put the stake in the ground today. Yay. So make art about that, that you're going to join community. You're going to make art in community. That's amazing. Okay. All right, we'll <laughs> awesome. I'm going to be calling everybody back and like, would you mind jumping on here and talking? Are you still, you're still feeling stuck. Is that correct? Yeah, I am feeling stuck. Okay. So let's, let's support you with that. So, um, what is your desire, your intention? Well, I want to make, I want to make pretty things and share them with other people. Uh, I want to heal and grow as a person. And I also want to, see, I wrote it down. Um, I want to connect and support others. Um, those were my three intentions. Uh, I don't, I have a website and I have uh, social media and I put my art on there. Um, I just don't know how to, how to engage people and bring more people into it. Uh, I don't know how or what I should do next or what my next steps are. Okay. So your desired is to have more engagement. Yes. Okay. And you want to have engagement. What's your intention for that? For them to just see your art? Is it because you want to have workshops or you want them to buy your art? Like wh wh where are you going? Where are you leading them to? Ultimately, I would like for them to buy my art. Okay. Um, but I'm finding that just connecting with other people and and getting um, just connecting with other people has been the, the most rewarding part of it so far. Okay, yeah. So part of this process, and even when I started coming out and sharing, is you have to create your community. You got to find your people. Yes. And to do that, you have to show up. And you have to, you know, talk about your art and show up in different places, whether it's in markets or, um, you know, just putting yourself out there and then having conversations um, and connecting on that on a personal level of like what your intention is and why this is so important to you um, and engage people with questions, um, asking people to respond to your art, uh, whether it's like, well, which one do you like uh, or it, it more resonates with you or do you like um, this image on this wall or this wall, like it's, it's a communication because you have to create relationships with people. Right. And so you've got to ask questions and invite them in and, um, and, and nurturing a relationship is finding out about them. What do they like? What, what, what do they like to do? And your art could be related to that so that it's fulfilling them because it's always a two way street. Right, it's always, it's, it, it's, that's part of it. So if you think about it, like your best friend, it's like, how do you want to have that relationship with your best friend? You guys want to have fun? You guys want to um, go do something together? So think about it like that, like, how are you going to nurture it? Um, I even think about my relationship with Instagram and I was like, you know, I know a lot of artists will say, oh, I just hate it. I can't stand being on there, whatever. But it's like, okay, well, how do I want to show up? I have to ask, I was like, well, how do I want people to feel? Right? How do I want to, to do that? And then if I could show that in a way that share that with someone and they can feel it too, then that's my success. That's where uh, my intention is. And that's what helps it grow. Okay. I think where I'm mainly stuck is just getting myself out there is sharing who I really am. That's my, my hardest part. Um, and allowing others to see the real me. Um, yeah. Don't know how to do that. So that's where I'm stuck. Yeah. So part of it is is showing the real you. It's just showing up, maybe doing a live and being in your, your art practice and say, this is me doing this. And every day you have to take a step towards that. Okay. Right? Yeah. Got it. Okay. So do that today. You have an opportunity to stand in your power today and, and show up. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and then Andrea, you have your hand up. Let me, I see you. So let me, there we go. hey Andrea, are you able to put your camera on? 
Just curious. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying. Okay. Come on, so, add pin. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Maybe. Hi. Hi. Um, so I had decided that when we were going to go into breakout rooms, I was going to leave. And I didn't. So that was a good step. Um, and I'm glad I did stay because the wonderful ladies that were in my breakout group, just such beautiful souls. Thank you, ladies. Um, and I realized that as I was thinking about the one thing, like I'm thinking of it literal, linear, tangible. And the reality is what they helped me to realize is that um, I have permission to love myself. And I give myself permission to love myself and to be deserving and receiving. And so today I'm just gonna show up like that. So sorry. No need to be sorry. I'm so happy that you showed up and shared and that you didn't leave. And I think that was your stretch today is, you know what, instead of hiding and doing like a pattern that you've probably done in other areas, you showed up today and you shared and you were vulnerable and, and you have to be brave to do that. And I'm really proud of you. Thank and you. you can continue doing that and do art about that today, about you just sharing your vulnerability, you sharing um, yourself, because that's all we really want anyway. We don't want yeah. someone else that's not that. Like, we want you, you know? So thank you for doing that and, sh and post in, in the group and share, share that image. Thank you. I will. I appreciate you. Um, everything you've ever done. I've worked with you for years. I did the art therapy with you and it was wonderful. And it's just such a value. You know, I appreciate you and everybody on here. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank Big you. Hugs and love. Thank you so much for showing up today. It's awesome. It's a process guys. It's, it's like I'm saying, it doesn't just happen one time. It's a part of shedding our skin. You know, the fears do come up um, and putting ourselves out there. Uh, it is, a choice every single day we have an opportunity that's going to freak us out and we're like whoa why am i triggered <laughs> and then we can say okay how am i going to handle it and you just saw how, how andrea handled it. she's like you know what i'm going to show up she did it and i got to handle it yesterday when i got to like speak up for myself which i would have been real passive before right we always have opportunities to continue growing shedding our skin okay so beautiful thank you all for supporting each other it's been um incredibly amazing um, I want to kind of just share a little bit more about what I do if you would like to work with me because that's why I show up because I want to to lift you wherever you're at. So I'm going to share my screen just so I can explain it a little bit more. Um, I have two tracks for my offers. One track, I call it art therapy, just art therapy services where if you need the healing, maybe just loving yourself a little bit more in areas that you don't like, that type of thing. Uh, more about self-development. I do art, art therapy, but I, I, it's 14 session minimum because it's a journey together and it's a part of you showing up and just fully committing to those three and a half months of us together, okay? The other path that I have, um, I call it the Art of Healing and Manifesting program. And the reason I call it a program is because it, it has a whole bunch of more goodies in it. It has um, the Creative Soul Society membership. Actually, I have it here. Let me switch it. Um, it has a business course if you want to put your art out into the world. Um, and it has some painting classes and you get the one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. And every year I always kind of kind of tweak it a little bit. I've added a bonus called the launch course. And it's for those of you who want to make money um, and sharing, just like Kristen is doing, like she's making money, uh, you know, doing these art groups. Um, and it's paying for her membership, I meant for her part of this program, right? So it the universe will show up if you if you listen and you follow the signs, you don't know how to ha know how, how it's going to work, but it will work. So these are just each, I put it about two weeks so you can kind of see how, um, you know, what are some different areas that we work on, which is, you know, really learning how to prioritize the big dream, mapping your course, heal emotional wounds. Um, we do some inner child work, confidence work, uh, creating connections, creating your own community. It's so important uh, for us to work in community and create our own communities if, um, for our niches. Um, and then expressing yourself authentically, so important. So I'm just gonna share that with you here. It's in my program and even the membership, the enrollment is open till the 17th of this month. And um, then I'm gonna shut it down till winter, not shut it down, but it's gonna be um, not enrollment, any, you know, the enrollment stopping till then, but uh, people who join will, 
we'll be working together. So we have the one-on-one -on -one sessions in the program, and we also have a group community too, where we work and support each other. So that's really great because you can kind of see where it's like this, where we, we help each other get to that next level on a weekly basis. All right, so there's a sticker for that. And last but not least, this, I already posted this today because you guys are so quick. Um, it says day three prize. Uh, you can win a whole year membership um, by stretching yourself. Show me your big stretch today. What are you gonna do today? You have to show up today for yourself and what that stretch is. And I'm gonna pick someone who stretches their self, okay? So, um, and I guess I'll let you know in the group because today's our last day together. I guess I'll let you know in the Creative Soul on the retreat group what that looks like, uh, who won. I guess I could pick someone tomorrow, give you guys an opportunity to finish your art piece and share it. And just to wrap it up, I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. We have some, um, let's see. Her is, I was just reading Kristen's comments. She says, yay, for all of you showing up and being vulnerable. You are loved, you are enough, you're worthy as you are. Yes, perfectly imperfect. We are all that way. Victoria says, thank you. You are welcome. Patricia says, hey, thank you. And for those of you who would like to just have a consultation call, uh, if you want to chat a little bit more about my programs or just some work, like more direction, uh, I, do, I do open that up for the next two weeks as well. The 30-minute consultations are totally free. Um, we get to chit-chat and take a deep dive that way. So uh, let me get you that appointment link. I actually, let me see if I have it really quick. I could put it here. And I'll also put it in, in the group. Let me see if I can get it for you really quick. Oh, Nicole said, thank you for the weekend. Awesome. I'm so happy you appreciate it. This is kind of like my give back for all the creatives because I know it's, it's important work because I had to do it for myself in order for me to give to others. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my scheduling link. Hold on one second. Creative soul consultation. All right, here we go. So I just put that in the chat. All right, I can't wait to see your artwork and yeah, seeing you in the group and let us know if you'd like to join us in the Creative Soul Society membership as well. All right, have a beautiful rest of your day. Enjoy your day. You're welcome.